I'm going to walk you through a coaching cycle I recently completed with a third grade teaching team. Teachers were concerned because students' scores on the state English language arts test had been going down, especially on open response items. They felt that their instruction was pencil and paper while the test had moved online, and that was a problem. They also were concerned that students spent too much time during writing instruction, sitting and waiting for help from the teacher. Finally, they wanted to become more efficient at giving students feedback on their writing. We looked at a variety of tools that could support the different steps in the writing process and decided to focus on Google Classroom, Google Docs, and the Read and Write extension for Google Chrome. Teachers were excited about the tools available to them in Google Classroom to help them manage assessment, specifically the Comment Bank for formative assessment and Rubrics for summative assessment. They were also excited about the tools available in Google Docs that would scaffold the six traits of writing, which is the framework we use for writing instruction. For example, voice typing for idea generation, cut, copy, and paste for reorganizing a text, the dictionary with synonyms for supporting word choice, and the built-in spelling and grammar check for help with conventions. They were also excited about the Read and Write toolbar, which would support the editing and revising process by allowing students to listen back to what they had written. I met with a third grade team during their planning period every week in December. We used Google Docs to collaborate on an outline of lessons and assignments, and we used Google Calendar to schedule the lessons. When we reflected back on the work we had done, we agreed that we had succeeded at giving students more practice with digital writing. We agreed that students were more independent. For example, they used the spell check rather than waiting for help from a teacher with spelling a word. We felt we could improve upon that independence by recording some screencasts with Screencastify tutorials on how to use the different tools so that if a student forgot how to access the spell check, they didn't have to wait for help from the teacher. Teachers also felt they had become more efficient at providing feedback. They would like to try using the mode extension for Google Chrome next year so that that feedback is more accessible to all students.